Well, it's almost two months into the school year and CMS has still more than 500 teaching positions unfilled. This is a number that's actually higher than what we saw at the beginning of the school year. Yeah, vacancies this high throughout the school year are starting to become a normal thing for the district and for others, really. WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison, look at the data and where the district is seeing the most strain. At any given time over the past two years, CMS has averaged from 300 to up to 500 teacher vacancies at any given time. And we know the reasons for these numbers are complex and the data shows it may increase. CMS's hardest to fill positions include teachers for exceptional children, secondary math, science, English language arts, and multilingual learner teachers. Emily Eiten, a guest teacher at Croft Community School, is looking to work in the language learner department. I had a lot of students last year at Ballantyne that came into my class that didn't, um, they didn't speak English. And so that like really, really inspired me to want to do that um, and help them and um, work with them. The need for teachers like her is large, especially with families being displaced during ongoing conflicts and wars. So I actually had a lot of students last year um, come in, in around January, actually, all at once come from Ukraine, from Russia. A question many are asking is why are there not more people like her going to school to become a teacher? So we are not seeing the uh, teachers that are traditionally changed, trained, come out of schools and ready, ready to teach. So that pipeline is becoming smaller and smaller. A state report shows enrollment in colleges of education, school district residency programs, and for-profit teacher prep programs fell by 42% last year. The annual State of the Teaching Profession report shows a steep increase in teacher vacancies at CMS. In the first two years before the pandemic, the average vacancy rate around this time of year was between 1 and 1.5%. 1 the two years following the third of the pandemic, the vacancy rate went up to 4%. In order to fill critical positions, CMS is offering upwards of $5,000 as a sign-on bonus for some positions. Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.